Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be bringing you a new haul for some new sunglasses that I picked up from Key Australia. I appreciate you if you're clicking on this channel and you're new. Make sure before we move on that you guys go ahead and click that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if this is a video you would like to see more of. And without further ado, let's get on to the haul. So, Key Australia, Desi Perkins, what more can I say? Everybody's obsessed with Desi. Everybody's obsessed with Key. I mean, I don't really know what else to say except their glasses are pretty awesome. So, I do have like a few pros and cons that I realized with this purchase compared to my last one. So, I'm going to be touching on those at the end. But I really just want to... Go ahead and do my honest review over each pair of shades. So let's go ahead and jump into this box. This is what the package came in and I intentionally tried to just order one pair and then I realized, you know what, I just need all the ones that I don't already have because I was obsessed with my gold high key glasses. So all of these are high key that I picked up, but my biggest, biggest thing that I like now for these shades is that they come in an actual like semi hard shell case. It's clear, the case says Key Australia, and then it has like the Times Desi Perkins, whatchamacallit on it, logo or whatever. And then it has a little clasp each pair of shades comes in this, and before they used to have soft cases, which you can see in my previous video. And they really just don't protect your sunglasses that well. So I actually have a pair that's broken um, because those cases suck. This empty case actually holds like the main pair that everyone was obsessed with, and that is the ones that fade from black to clear. So. The biggest thing that I liked about these shades, which mine are a little bit dirty because I wore them today, but it actually does fade to clear, even though in most pictures when you look at people wearing these, like, it looks like it's your skin color, but it's because it's clear, like, it legit is clear. So whoever wears them, it's going to match their shade of skin, and that's pretty awesome to me. These are just, like, major stunners, in my opinion. I feel like when you put them on, you're just like take a picture, picture, like they're just perfect. So I really like them. They feel a little bit heavy, but these compared to my gold high keys are definitely not the same weight. Like I wish I had a scale to literally weigh the sunglasses because these are lighter than the gold ones. So on the inside of the frame, they do say high key on them. And then on the other side, they say, Key, and then Desi, it's their little logo. And then on the front, they say Key as well, which on my gold ones, I don't know. I feel like it says Key, but on this pair, like it's definitely like the font is different or something, or it's because it's white and they just really pop. Um, but that's one thing that I honestly don't like about them. I wish that they wouldn't have put their brand right here because the brand is already on the inside, so I don't really understand why we needed it on there again, but um, I think they would have looked nicer without a white logo on them. But other than that, I feel like these shades are bomb, and people don't notice the logo, but I notice the logo because I'm picky. So I really like them, and high keys, as always, are people with big heads. <laughs> they look good on you. Like I wish these were even more oversized because I do have a big head, but they're oversized enough for me that they're the only aviators I can wear that are not tiny. Each come individually in this little Ziploc bag and then they all come in the same little case. So this pair is the silver on silver and I honestly didn't think that I would like these at all, but they be popping too, ooh. Like I really like, I just like the difference like you would think that it's too much silver, but it's really not. And I think they're coming off. Yeah, it's coming off that the lenses are black, but they're for real silver and they're so cute. Um, this pair feels like it may be a hair bigger. Maybe I'm crazy, 
but it feels like they're bigger for some reason. Do they look bigger? I can't tell. I don't know. They feel a little bit more oversized. I like them a lot. The frame is silver. The lens is silvery blue colored. It looks a little blue, but it's silver on silver. And it has the same logoing on them, but the white logo looks really good on this pair because I just, when I do black, I just want black. And I did forget to mention that each pair comes with a little sunglass cleaner, which is also pretty nice. So the next pair that I picked up is the black. I think these are meant to be black. What the hell? Okay, so these are definitely black on silver according to the website. And they look fire as well. I think that the white logo looks good with the silver lens because it's silver and not black but it has all the same detailing and the same fit this pair definitely feels the same weight as the gold ones and like i said that could be totally my opinion that they're different weights but i don't know like in comparison this pair the black fade to clear is very light compared to the other pairs. So this pair is silver with blue, and I feel like this pair looks really good on people with blonde hair, so I really didn't know if I was actually gonna like the way that they look. It's like the blue in the lens just really pops, so I like that these have the silver instead of the black frame, because it really makes the blue stand out. So same fit, same, logos on the inside of the lens and everything. It's just, I love this style of glasses. Now this pair feels the same weight as the clear pair. So honestly, if you're prone to getting headaches from wearing glasses of any type, I honestly feel like the heavier pairs um, are gonna contribute to that and I only say that because when I wear my gold high keys I if I wear them for too long I get a headache so now that I'm looking at it they definitely are different weights or something because the um, on the inside they say lens cap 3 on the over the ear part and on the clear, the ones that are black with clear lenses, like that fade, um, say the exact same thing. But look at, but look at the difference in the size of the font on these two. The frames that I feel like are heavier are definitely have a bigger font on the inside than the black faded to clear. So they definitely have to be some. There's something different with these pairs. But I wanted to go ahead and jump in to my experience overall with key and ordering this time. So the last time that I ordered, it was kind of the same situation with the key Desi collection. It was like you, I literally had to set an alarm on my phone to make sure that one, I woke up in time to get the glasses and two, so that I was able to just kind of mentally prepare myself because I knew a lot of people we're gonna be trying to get these glasses. So this time, I was on there a minute before the actual launch of these glasses. It was on the 17th of May. And I made sure I was online. As soon as it went live, I clicked my basket, purchased all the sunglasses. There was no hesitation at all. I get to a portion where it's like processing my order and the internet just like stalls. Like it literally just says to wait a few minutes while it calculates your shipping and handling. And it just sits there. I waited 45. I have ordered a lot of sunglasses from Key at this point and I feel like the price just kind of keeps going up. And I don't know if that's because celebrities are starting to wear these sunglasses or what, but the price is definitely jumping up there, so that on top of the shipping and handling is a little bit, it's a little steep. I mean, cause let's be real, they're not Ray-Bans. So I get on their Instagram just to see what other people are saying and everybody on there is saying how like they're not getting past the shipping and handling portion 
Then I see people saying that they made it past that point, but they never received a confirmation email. So when I finally got through that point, I made sure I had a confirmation email like immediately because I was like, I'm not about to be getting charged for something and not receiving it. Like I had no idea what was going on because Key wasn't responding to anybody on their Instagram. And it's like, if you have thousands of people, like the least you could do is respond to one person. Like you responding to one person, everyone waiting is going to see that and know. And maybe I missed it, but I was scrolling and I did not see a thing on there. So I was like, that's just kind of crappy. Like there was no announcement of like, oh, the internet's broken. Like you guys broke the internet. Like you would think after you've done this many launches that you would kind of know and be a little bit more prepared for this to happen, I guess. So I ended up having two windows open on my computer trying to make it through. And I kept, you kept having to push the refresh button over and over and over to be able to buy the sunglasses. I was this close to giving up because I'm not a patient person anyways. So the fact that I spent 45 minutes doing that is insane. I wanted the black to clear ones so bad though that I was like, I'll just sit here and suffer. I finally received my confirmation and they tell me to wait 48 hours for a tracking number. They send an email saying, you must wait 48 hours for your tracking number, whatever. Literally four days went by before I received the tracking number. Like it was kind of the middle of the week and I was just like, I never received a tracking number for this. Needless to say, my sunglasses ended up taking twice the amount of time that they've ever taken before. And that's surprising to me. If you're going to tell me, like, wait 48 hours for a tracking number, I just feel like within 48 hours, I should have a tracking number in my inbox. The weekend went by and I was like, well, maybe it's business days. But even with the weekend there, it took over 48 hours. It literally took like three or four days. I want to say four days before I received an actual tracking number. And to me, that's just kind of bad customer service. And I did read a lot of, a lot of people commenting on Key's photos on Instagram saying like, don't waste your money on this. Their customer service is terrible, blah, 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 blah. But it's kind of shocking to me because I love Desi. I love everything about her, but there was no like announcement, no talk about the way that this whole process was handled, like there was nothing. So I guess I'm not trying to bash the company, but I just want people to know, like if you're gonna order from them, prepare for stuff like this to happen. Because if I would have went one more day without a tracking number, like I would have been on the phone trying to get a hold of them. And from all the reviews I've seen about that, it's very difficult to get in touch with them. I haven't personally experienced it, but to see more than one person saying that, there's no way that that hasn't been an issue. So I love the shades. I love Desi. I love that I received the sunglasses, but I think that the customer service could be a little better because we're out here spending almost $70 on some not brand name shit. So you should be present with your customer base. So. That's my two cents on this whole entire key situation. Honestly, if one of my favorite people s says that they're coming out with shades from them, you know your girl's probably gonna buy them anyways. Um, I'm always willing to suffer through it if it's something that I really want, but I know that there's people who don't and that's what YouTube is for, for people to know the truth. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure that if you're new to my channel, you subscribe, make sure you turn on the notifications. And if there's anything else, or actually, if you guys have ordered sunglasses from Key, let me hear about it in the comments below. I wanna know your experience because we're all out here to help each other. So that's all I gotta say. And I love you guys so, so much.